Hi guys, this is Velvet Sky and you are watching AJWF on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe and I like this channel so much because I know and I have seen they have a huge Velvet Sky collection. Welcome back guys to another AJWF. Massive thank you to Velvet Sky for the intro to this video. Let's look at her story because she is one of my favourites of all time and one of the nicest wrestlers I've ever met in person. Jamie Lynn Santa, born June the 2nd, 1981, is an American colour commentator and retired professional wrestler, currently signed to the NWA. She's best known though for a time in Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling, aka TNA or Impact, under the ring name Velvet Sky. She is a former two-time TNA Women's Knockout Champion and is a former TNA Knockouts Tag Team Champion as part of the Beautiful People. Now many people may think this tag team run was with Angelina Love, but it was actually with Madison Rain and Lacey Von Erich, and the group defended the title under the Freebird rule. Now Jamie has Polish and Italian heritage in her family, and in high school she competed in cheerleading, softball, cross country, football and track. She was previously engaged as well to wrestler Bully Ray. She was featured on MTV's Made alongside AJ Styles, Taylor Wilde and Angelina Love. In January of 2009, she appeared as a soccerette on the British television programme called Soccer AM along with Angelina Love. I am the one and only, often imitated, never duplicated, Velvet Sky. In November 2010, she was a contestant on an all TNA week of Family Feud, teaming with Angelina Love, Christy Hemi, Lacey Von Erich and Tara against Jay Lethal, Matt Morgan, Mick Foley, Mr. Anderson and Mr. Rob Van Dam himself. Another cameo that Velvet Sky made is a personal favourite of mine and really made me pop when I saw it. It was on an episode of Impractical Jokers. Now I don't know about the rest of the world but Impractical Jokers is always on over here in England and we love it. But for now let's turn the clock back a bit. Let's go back all the way to 2003 when Jamie trained with the House of Pain Pro Wrestling. And after completing her training, she began working as a valet and a wrestler on the independent circuit, using the ring name Miss Talia, Talia Doll, and Talia Madison. Now Talia made her debut for the World Extreme Wrestling, WXW, in March 2004, where she won her first championship in professional wrestling, the WXW Women's Championship. Perhaps unknown to a lot of people, Jamie did make a few appearances in the World Wrestling Entertainment, aka WWE. This was in 2005 and 2006. In fact, in February 2006, on an episode of WWE Smackdown, she appeared as an extra during the JBL Celebration of Excellence party. She was then defeated as well by Victoria in July, in a match taped for WWE Heat. She also auditioned for the 2007 Diva Search, but did not make the final eight. Now WWE, you really missed the beat there. If we stick to 2007, Total Non-Stop Action Wrestling. Now, we all know it, TNA, and they announced the creation of their women's division. And Jamie, using her ring name Talia Madison, was announced as one of the 10 wrestlers in a 10 women gauntlet match to crown the first ever TNA Knockouts Champion at Bound for Glory. In the weeks following the gauntlet match, her ring name was changed to Velvet Sky and this started the career. At December that year, Turning Point, Sky and Angelina Love formed an alliance and were dubbed Velvet Love Entertainment, which as we all know, later was renamed The Beautiful People. A couple more firsts for Velvet Sky were at lockdown when her and Angelina Love participated in the first ever Queen of the Cage match. Now they weren't successful and did not win, but they did go on at sacrifice to participate in the Makeover Battle Royal ladder match. And around this time, Sky and Love added another factor to their gimmicks, placing brown paper bags over their opponents' heads after defeating them. Let's fast forward in time a little bit to March 2009, and the team, the Beautiful People, gained a new member in Madison Rain, and she would go on to be a main part of the Beautiful People for years to come. Talking new members as well, when Angelina Love left the company, she was replaced by Lacey Von Erich in The Beautiful People. Now Love, she did return to the company in 2010, January. But instead of rejoining The Beautiful People, she attacked them, thus turning Love face. 
In March 2010, Velvet Sky Madison Rain defeated the teams of Angelina Love and Tara and Sarita and Taylor Wilde in a three-way match to win the vacant TNA Knockout Tag Team Championships. The three members of the Beautiful People defended the titles under the Freebird rule. As we approached the summer of 2010, Velvet Sky began showing signs of a face turn. This is mainly when Madison Rain began talking down to both Velvet and Von Erich, declaring that she did not need either of them. She then recruited a mystery woman hiding behind a motorbike helmet. It was during the taping of Impact in August that Velvet Sky and Lacey Von Erich lost the TNA Knockout Tag Team Championships. And it was later this month that Velvet Sky reunited with then champion Angelina Love. She accompanied her to the ring and helped her successfully defend the Knockouts Championship against Madison Rain. For anybody who may be new to the channel, I do have a collection of Velvet Sky merchandise, including her three TNA Impact wrestling figures. Please do go and check out that video, and while you're doing that, like and subscribe to the channel, because it does help me out. Now, if we fast forward again to the following year, Velvet Sky really announced her intention of becoming the TNA Knockouts Championship. In an episode of Impact Wrestling, Sky defeated Angelina Love to qualify for a four-way Knockouts Championship match at Bound for Glory. In October, at Bound for Glory, Sky won the Knockouts Championship for the first time by defeating Winter, Madison Rain, and Mickey James in a four-way match. I remember watching this match live and I was absolutely over the moon for Velvet Sky. For me, there was no one more deserving at that point in time. What was also nice to see was in October on an episode of Impact Wrestling, Velvet Sky came to the ring and thanked the fans for supporting her. During her speech though, she was attacked by the returning Gail Kim. And on November the 13th at Turning Point, Sky lost the Knockouts Championship to Gail Kim, ending her reign of 28 days. One thing that Velvet Sky never failed to do was make an impact on her entrance to the ring. She knew how to let the pigeons loose and knew how to entertain the fans throughout her career. If we may fast forward again, after a great run in TNA, it was July 2012 and it was reported that Sky was close to leaving TNA after failing to come to terms on a new contract. Now, a few days later after this rumour, Sky confirmed her departure from TNA. However, she was still listed as an active member of the roster on the company's website. After she'd left TNA, and during 2011 and 2012, Velvet Sky made appearances all over the world including a debut for Mexican promotion Lucha Libra, AAA Worldwide. And at Triple Mania 29, she teamed with Angelina Love, Mickey James and Sexy Star in a match. Sky also took part in the World Wrestling Council's WWC Anniversary Weekend at Puerto Rico. Though it made a debut for the Bad Boys of Wrestling, BBWF, and at the BBWF Caribbean Wrestling Bash, she competed against Angelina Love again in a winning effort. Velvet continued to work very closely with Angelina Love on the independent circuit. In December of 2012, Velvet Sky made her return to TNA. It was an episode of Impact Wrestling, and she was in a in-ring segment against Mickey James and the then Knockouts champion Tara, where she vowed to become champion again. The following week, Velvet Sky won a return match by defeating Madison Rain. In January 2013 at Genesis, Sky won a five women gauntlet match by last eliminating Gail Kim to become the number one contender to the Knockouts Championship. Fast forward again to the following month in February on an Impact Wrestling episode in London, England. Sky defeated Tara, Miss Tessmacca and Gail Kim in a fatal four-way elimination match by last eliminating Kim to win the Knockouts Championship for the second time. In March that year on an episode of Impact Wrestling, Velvet Sky saved Taryn Terrell from an attack by Gail Kim and Tara and the following week, she teamed up with Terrell in a losing effort to Kim and Tara, after the special guest referee, Mr. Ryan, made a fast count on Terrell. After this match, Terrell gave Ryan a low blow when Sky distracted him. TNA then announced that Velvet Sky had suffered a knee injury during the match. Despite the injury, Velvet Sky successfully defended the Knockouts Championship against Mickey James on an episode of Impact Wrestling. On May 23rd, on another episode of Impact Wrestling, Velvet Sky lost the championship to Mickey James ending her reign at 117 days. 
If we may fast forward in time again to March 2014, it was an episode of Impact Wrestling that Velvet Sky was called out by the returning Angelina Love. She wanted to reunite the beautiful people. And a week later, Velvet Sky accepted Love's offer. In March 27th episode of Impact Wrestling, Velvet Sky turned heel by attacking Madison Rain during her match with Love, allowing Love to get the win. The beautiful people made their in-ring return as a team the following week, defeating Rain and Brittany. At Bound for Glory, Velvet Sky faced havoc for the Knockouts Championship, but she was unsuccessful. Fast forwarding a little again, Velvet Sky and Angelina Love formed an alliance with the Bromans, Robbie E and Jesse Goddard. While helping the Bromans during Impact Wrestling during the Feast or Fired match, Velvet Sky grabbed a briefcase for Robbie E, and because Sky had retrieved the briefcase, she was forced by Robbie E to open it, revealing a fired slip. Later it was revealed that Sky's contract was legitimately expired and TNA had opted not to renew it. In a May 2015 episode of Impact Wrestling, Velvet Sky returned to TNA, emerging from the audience to attack Angelina Love, thus turning face in the process and ending her association with the beautiful people. In May 29th episode of Impact Wrestling, Love brought her own personal security team and provoked Velvet Sky who was sitting in the audience. Velvet Sky jumped the barricade and attacked Love but was removed from the arena by Love's security team. In June that year, on another episode of Impact Wrestling, Velvet Sky defeated Angelina Love to secure her spot on the roster. Sky made her in-ring return later that year on an Impact Wrestling episode, defeating Madison Rain, and continued a good run of matches, as well as eventually reuniting the beautiful people. Fast forward again, April 2016, Velvet Sky left the company for the third time. With her being written off the Impact Wrestling series by being told that she was being put in a match for a new knockout roster member, Sienna. With her job in the TNA on the line if she was to lose the match, which she did unfortunately by pinfall. This led to Velvet Sky's retirement. In July 2016, she announced she was going to retire to focus on going back to college. She would later state that she was retired from in ring action, but not professional wrestling as a whole, an industry that she so loved as she would still do appearances as she could around the world. She did go to Ring of Honor in April 2019, where Velvet Sky officially reunited with Angelina Love and formed a new heel stable with Mandy Leone as the allure. And guys, if we may again fast forward to the present day, she is now a part of the National Wrestling Alliance, the NWA, as the show's color commentator. And she made her debut doing this in March 2021. And obviously, she is successfully continuing to this day. As we head towards the end of this video, guys, I do hope you enjoyed the story of Velvet Sky. She is an absolute legend and was an absolute pleasure to meet all those years back in the UK. Now, she is very active on social media, so make sure you check her out on Instagram, Twitter, etc. Also guys, if you enjoy this type of video, let me know in the comments below, like this video, subscribe to my channel, it is appreciated. Until next time guys, peace out and keep on collecting.